and welcome to Aesthetic Advisor Laser Academy. I'm Chris Group, and I am the CEO. Today we're going to be demonstrating a new machine out on the market for facial veins or telangiectasias. Um, you can also use it on leg veins and what's fantastic about this machine is its radio frequency, otherwise known as RF. What that means is that it's colorblind to the skin color of your client. So you can work on a little bit darker skin types that you might not be able to with a laser. Also, what you can do is the little tiny alar vessels that are around the nose that are very, very difficult to um, blanch out and to make go away. It gives us another option in treating those vessels. So I'm really excited to show you this machine. Uh, it is called the Mikaso. It's right here, this little tiny machine. Um, and it has different tips that can go into it, different probes for if we're treating leg veins or for treating the facial veins. And what I'm going to be doing in our demonstration is showing you a very close view of the vessel actually blanching out. So you're going to get to see what I get to see, which is called Chris Cam. So we're going to get started in just a minute. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, so as you see, our client has an alar vessel right here. And actually, um, I know this client quite well, and I have tried to get rid of this particular vessel with a couple of different um, machines. One, I had tried to use uh, a 1064 ND YAG, but the spot size on the ND YAG was too big, and if I were to use it, it would actually go past the vessel and probably end up leaving her a blister, which is not a good option. Um, another machine that I have used. Um, was a lamb probe and the pain that was created from it was so high she told me she would never let me do that again so hence she still has this vessel here so I'm very excited to try the Picasso because I've used it on several of my other clients with really nice clearance and not a lot of pain now she is going to feel a little bit of pain just because of the location of the vessel so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right on top of it with my probe and I'm just going to step on it I mean step on the uh, foot pedal, not on the actual vessel. That wouldn't be good. Um, so I'm going to go right above it. And if you can see, it's actually starting to blanch out. Are you doing okay? <laughs> so I'm going to come right up here. And as you can see, the vessel is starting to go away. See that? Now we just have this little branch left off of it. Now what I'm doing with the Q-tip is I've got a little bit of saline on my Q-tip. And what the saline is, do saline is doing is helping conduct the energy into the skin. So I'm going to come back this way on a second branch off of this vessel. Awesome. So she also has a little vessel right here. You can see it's kind of broken. As we start to get a little bit older, sometimes we can see a little bit of what's going on in the dermis. So the skin starts to thin a little bit and you get a little bit more vascular issues. Um, this is a wonderful option. Look at that. Looks like the whole vessel has just gone away. Um, she's got a little red one right here. They're a little bit addictive. Once you start working on them, it's hard to stop if you can find another one. Look at that one, completely blanched out. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, knowing what you had felt before, Cindy, what are you feeling with this? 1 meaning you don't feel anything, 10 meaning, oh my goodness, make it stop. I would say probably between 2 and 10. That's not bad, considering that she was a 10 before and would never let me do it again. Um, if you notice, the area is going to have a little bit of erythema or redness after the treatment, and that's completely common. Um, what happens is, over the course of a few hours, that redness goes away. And then in a couple of days, she'll have almost like a little tiny microscopic scab. If you look at the size of this probe, and I'll put it against my finger, it's about the size of a hair. It's very, very, very small. So the scab that's going to be created, you might be able to see a little bit better on the Q-tip, is almost like, um, like a little microscopic scab. You'll be able to feel it. You won't be able to see it that much. Now she's got a couple of vessels over here we are going to work on. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. Basically, I'm just laying the probe on the skin, and then when I step on the foot pedal, the energy is conducted into the skin, into the vessel, and then it collapses it with the energy that I'm applying. So if you look at that, kind of, there it was, 
now it's not. It's the opposite, now you see it, now you don't. Oh no, it is, now you see it, now you don't. Isn't that awesome? So, the Picasso radio frequency for vein reduction gives all of us a wonderful option in treating some very delicate facial veins that otherwise might not be able to be treated either comfortably or safely. Um, we're going to be showing you the settings on the machine in just a little bit so you can see a little bit more of what I did. Just got a couple more little ones right up here. That's fantastic. Very, very difficult. There's no way you would be able to get a laser beam into an area that's this small. So this gives us another option in treating our clients. So thank you very much for watching the hands-on portion of our demonstration. Hi there. Um, we just got done doing the hands-on demonstration of the Picasso RF, which is radio frequency device for um, we were doing ALAR vessels and facial vessels. I want to show you now kind of what the machine looks like. Um, so I'm going to turn it on in the back. Just got a little switch. Now a couple of the different things that you can do with Picasso. If we push down here on this button, it almost looks like waves. It tells us we can do telangiectasia for the face or for the body. Cherry angiomas, and cherry angiomas are a collection of broken capillaries. We've got both a flat and also a raised setting. And then we also have spider veins. This would be for um, spider veins on the leg. So very small spider veins that would be either um, red or possibly blue, probably about a 0.5 millimeter or less. Um, these are the different things that we can choose to do with it. Now I have the machine set up for telangiectasias on the face because that's just what we did on our client. Now over here we have a one, two, and three button. And what this does is increase the energy. What I have found is pretty much I can get rid of the facial vessels on my low setting. But let's say I'm trying to blanch out the vessel and nothing's changing, the vessel is not going away, it's not changing color. Then I have the option to increase my settings. Okay, so I can go up to a high or I can take it back down to low. Now let's say I only wanted to increase maybe two bumps in it. Right here I've got a plus and a minus. So I can increase there or I can in decrease this. I'm sorry, it goes in three, uh, three energy increments. So this is what the machine looks like up close. Again, when we worked on our client's telangiectasias on her face, I was just at a low setting which was 113. Um, I have had it up higher on a gentleman. We were working on his ALAR vessels and they were pretty, pretty big, pretty significant, so we took it up to high. Um, I have worked on some leg veins also where I've used the leg vein setting. Um, the ballet needle that we use, the Pro, is right here and you can see it's about the size of a hair. I mean, it's really, really tiny. These are sterile and what I do is I just pull it out of its wrapper, so this is what it looks like. My stylus is over on the other side. So all you do is you insert it into the stylus and basically then tighten it down. Now, when I use this on somebody's face, I don't keep it straight, I actually bend it with my finger because as I put it on the skin, I want it going more at a perpendicular level than being straight up and down. If you're straight up and down, what I have found is people tend to get a little heavy handed. So if we just go like that, it bends it, it offers a little bit more control from your point and also that way you won't be putting this too far into the tissue. Um, so this is the Picasso radio frequency. Again, we were just doing a hands-on demonstration of telangiectasias on the face and also the ALR vessels. This is also Chris Group from Aesthetic Advisor Laser Academy showing you one of the newest treatments out on the market to treat a uh, condition or um, you know, facial vessels which have in the past been very, very difficult to treat and also difficult to treat without any adverse reactions. So this is the Picasso and I look forward to bringing you a, another machine and another treatment very soon. Thanks for visiting.